Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Beth. Welcome to the first episode of my Discover University Let's Play with my Sim Elise Brinson here. I had started a high school Let's Play with her, um, which it had just come out at that point, but I really wanted to play with this family, and I'm really obsessed with this Sim. So um, we are now in the university, and we are going to... Um, follow her course which she just turned into a young adult and we have three to four days before she actually has to go to class um, so basically I'm looking at as looking at it like she is gone to university early and she's preparing but she also has graduation here on Sunday so we will try to attend that as well um, to attend her graduation and then she will have her classes starting. Um, she is going to the University of Brychester and she is taking the language and literature um, degree program which we have not started anything so she has nothing completed and she will be taking the right expectations class pride in prepositions telling tales and to thrill and talk absurd um so she has classes uh two of them are on monday and ah, wednesday friday and then the other two yeah. on are, are on tuesday and thursday so she is just working on her homework here right now for the right expectations class um and when she was in high school she was a goal oriented sim and she did graduate with honors which is really exciting um right here she graduated with honors and she has a really good reputation um and she has a lot of amazing traits she's loyal creative good manners quick learner uh, bookworm responsible a speed reader um and then she also has a couple fears she is has a fear of failing tests and she has a fear of the dark which she is freaking out right now because it's friday and she is worried about her test day which she has already completed high school so i don't know why she's still having a fear about that um and it's still says awaiting university acceptance but she did get accepted and we we are enrolled in Brychester right now so I'm not sure um where the correlation is like mixed up but hopefully we'll get rid of that soon and then um she would like to read a book at the library so hopefully we can check out Brychester and go to the library um and then she also has a crush on Jaden um, but she is actually in a relationship here with Orange Bailey Moon. Um, but I don't know if that's going to last throughout um, her university career because, I don't know, they didn't really get too much along in high school, but we'll see how that goes. She did bring a picture over here from home of the two of them, and I think they're really cute and sweet. Uh, we do also need to get some decorations for her room. I feel we did not take anything from her home, her family home, So, and we only have a dollar, so we really need to get a job, a part-time job, so I think we'll go ahead and have her do that as well and she is feeling a little bit tense and she is tired so uh we'll probably go to bed here soon and but i want to see what jobs yes. we can get here um let's see so we'll find a job but then her classes we'll have to keep in mind as well because she goes to class monday through friday so if we can find like a weekend job that would be best Okay, so she just finished her second homework for, um, it was one of her classes, but she finished that. She has two more homeworks to do, but we are going to look to see about these jobs, and hopefully we can find something for her. Um, let's see. We have a lot of options, which I'm not, I don't really want to do any of these original ones. I want to see what's down here. Um, she has an eSports competitor. Putting your gaming skills to the test and becoming part of esports competitive team. Um, they are on ooh, Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. There's also a soccer team player, which she was really active in high school, but I don't think I want to do that. And then, because it, it is unpaid as well. 
and then there is a babysitter um, and it's on Saturday and Sunday so that might be good it's $52 an hour and you can choose if you want morning or evening so that might be a good thing there's also a barista which that's through the week 5 to 7 a.m. would be before her classes I don't know about that a fast food employee um, it is through the week as well and you can also choose your shift on that uh, manual laborer and uh, 7 a.m. 12 p.m. no I don't think that would work it is on the weekend though but I don't really see her doing that um, she can also be a retail employee it's $52 an hour you can choose your shift uh, that might be something fun to do uh, we also have a simfluencer which she is on her way she's got a little bit of fame but she don't have like a star yet so um, she has written a couple of books she loves language and literature and she loves writing and reading so that would be something we could continue writing writing more books and getting an income that way so that might be something to do um, this is through the week I don't know I would probably say we would do I'm gonna say she would be a babysitter and I think she would do I would say let's do seven a.m. to 1 p.m. because she doesn't I don't think she has classes on those days and so then she would still have the night of the weekend to do and it's $52 an hour so I think we are going to enroll her in a babysitting job and she's entered the career at the daycare admin at the Munchkin Menagerie. She starts Sunday at 7 a.m. So that's exciting. She has a job. Uh, she is really tired and she's needing some fun. So I wonder if there's anything fun we can do around here. Uh, there's also a lot of food hanging out. Um, I think I'll probably just, we need to get like a laptop of something or something for her to do some sort of computer but we only have a dollar a simoleon so that's not going to get us very far so we may just have her go ahead and sleep and then we'll see how she is in the morning okay she is awake and she has really got to pee so we need to run over here and we need to use the bathroom and while she is up, we are going to see if there's any good food. So she is going to go play this game. Hopefully that will get her in a better mood. Oh, and it looks like somebody's bringing food over here. Yes, so that is amazing. She can grab a serving of that. Um, that's one thing that I love about Discovery University is there's always food showing up. Um, but it sucks that there's like dirty plates around all the time. Um, but she is getting there on her fun and we'll get her in a better mood. She wants to be friendly with Kelly and then also become friends with Kelly and she wants to eat food. So we can definitely work on that as well. Um, let's have her introduce herself to these people here as well. Uh, make some new friends while we're in university. Uh, we'll probably need friends to help get us through this time. <laughs> oh, I forgot to also mention that she is doing the academic as aspiration. So she's already enrolled in the university, so she has that. And we need to achieve level three of the research and debate skill. So we will have to work on that as well. And she does have quite a few reward points. So if we ever come in need of any of this, we can definitely um, get some things. So that's going to be exciting. Um, and she also, whenever she meets people, their friendship gets instantly like really high, uh, which I love that. Um, oh, and her re royalty report just came in. So we have $26 now. <laughs> we are moving on up slowly but surely. So I think I'm going to continue continue having her write some books. And um, hopefully that will get her fame and her income up as well. While we also do the daycare career. Um, so she's her fun is almost there. And then we will have her get some food. 
Oh, and we just had a pop-up and it says uninstalled. Left, right, up, down, jump, jump, jump. Who likes this stuff anyway? Try as she may, at least just can't in get into gaming. Should at least accept her gameless existence and finally come to the terms that the fact that she dislikes video gaming. I really wish she likes video gaming, but... I don't see her as being someone who likes video games, so we will say that she does look dislike video gaming, so we won't have her do that anymore, but um, she loves listening to music. That's what she did in high school all the time. Um, she also played guitar and violin, so that's pretty exciting, and she has a whole bunch of skills from high school, which is something that I love. She started off with so many different skills, so she can really get into anything she likes, but... Um, we definitely need to get some stuff for her room, um, and I wish we would have brought her guitar and her violin and her computer and everything with us from home, but I did not do that, and I tried to go back and get them, but since she is now in her own, like, household, you can't take your stuff from your home, so next time I would definitely know to grab that before we accept our university and enroll in that so that is something to remember but her needs are looking oh, really good no, so why don't we do some of her once uh let's see if we can find kelly and see if he is on the lot yep. here if i can find him in her list of friends oh here he is okay so i thought you could like click on him and see like where they were but i don't he must not be on the lot so we'll just see what we got going on in here why don't we go here they look like they're having a great time in here um but kelly will probably be back at some point and oh he's actually over here oh shoot i grabbed my project board um what she needs to work on that as well oh it looks like he's awake so we're actually let's go do some of these let's be friendly let's brighten his day and she wants to become good friends with him so let's Let's work on that. We'll do a couple different interactions, a compliment. Um, let's also ask about its day and we'll just see how they get along. Um, and then she wanted to go to the library at some point. I think it would be fun to get out and go check out the area. Um, we also have a new one. She wants to finish writing a book, which is perfect because we want her to write some more books. So we'll have her work on that as well. And then she does have a couple more, um, homeworks to do. So these two are complete. She still needs to do her telling tales and to thrill and talk absurd. So we'll work on that as well. She also needs to work on some of her presentations, uh, to get that done. But why don't we go ahead and travel and... Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's volunteer. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and travel and see what we have going on around this place. Okay, so here we are. Um, and, oh, there is the library. So why don't we go ahead and go there? She loves spending time at the library. So we made it to the library, and this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful historic building. I love these little seating benches out the front here. Um, it's huge. It's got two stories and a lot of books, of course. So that is amazing. And we do have some computers over here. So maybe, oh, she does need to do some of this research. Um, we'll work on that later, but I really want her to practice writing a book. Uh, so let's have her write a genre book and she's done children so far, but, uh, maybe we'll do a short story. Oh, someone just stole her computer. We weren't fast enough. Maybe there's another one around here. Let's see. Okay. I feel like this library needs a lot more computer computers than what it has. Um, but why don't we... Let's see what she needs to do. Maybe we can work on some homework until the computer pops up. Okay, so she's just over here working on her homework. Oh, I think this is Julia Wright. She's an adult. I thought we went to high school with her. Oh, Kelly's calling. Uh, hey, so this might be a bad time, but I've come back to our place and I seem to have, um, locked myself out. Ha ha. Silly me. So, could you come home? Like, no rush, but right now would be good. Okay. 
<laughs> let's go home and we'll just we'll save Kelly and we <laughs> we visited the library and it does look really nice it could use a few more computers but we will go ahead and go home and we'll see maybe Kelly wants to hang out okay we've made it back home there's Kelly he's thinking about his key um, so we can definitely let's just chat with him for a little bit we'll brighten his day no big deal you locked yourself out it happens to the best of us I can't believe I forgot my key I swear it won't happen again I'm so glad you came by anytime Kelly anytime uh, let's share some ideas with Kelly and then maybe we can sit and chat and do our homework. Um, work on that a little bit while we're in a really good mood. Oh, it looks like Jasmine is also sitting and doing her homework. Um, so maybe we can talk to her while we're sitting here. We'll just ask about her day. We also have Ricky here. We don't know him, so we'll do a friendly introduction. And then we'll ask Yamato about his day as well. Um, and then, oh, we don't know <laughs> yes. Yuka as well, so we'll say hi to her. She's not in a group or anything, so I would, it would be fun if we could, like, create a group or a club, like, for her to study a study club. I think that would be really fun, um, with the people that she meets in the university. Um, but maybe we'll get past her graduation and, and all of that and get a little further and see who she really clicks with. Oh, we just had a pop-up. Yuka thinks Elise Brinson is swell and wants to become best friends. Um, I think that's really soon, and we already have a best friend. I wish you could have more than one best friend in this game, but it will not let you. So, um, I will have to say no for now, and maybe we'll apologize for that. We do think you're really cool and we want to be your friend, but don't think we can be best friends yet. Some trouble going over here. Um, it looks like she didn't get along with somebody. She's looking really irritated. <laughs> um, but it might be coincident coincidence, but Elise can't shake the feeling that others are just constantly judging her. Is it her hair, personality, friends, whatever it is? Elise is afraid that this won't be the end of it. Oh no, she's not getting along with somebody. Um, so I don't know. We have a new sen sentiment down here with Yuka. So let's see. Oh, she's creeped out and she's de dejected about rejection. Um, which Elise is creeped out from her. So that's not good. That's going to be a little rough. Ooh, and she got a pop-up right here that she's having an aggravating conversation. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. And she's tense. Um, she has really bad anxiety, so that's not good. I definitely feel that, especially being in a dorm around a whole bunch of new people that you have to learn to live with and different, different living styles can be really hard, especially with all of this mess happening. That would be a complete nightmare. <laughs> um, but I think maybe we should just um, stop doing that. Why don't we go to our room? And why don't we study in there? That would probably be better. Oh, it looks like she's going to start a Bright Chester cheer. So that's actually exciting. We'll let her do that. She was a cheerleader in high school. Um, so that's really cool. I wish there was a cheerleading that you could do for university. I think that would be really fun. Um, but she's joining in the cheer. So that's really exciting. Um, and she can't stand being around her right now. <laughs> She's really upset about it. Um, but she wants to finish writing that book. We have got to... I really want to get her her own laptop or computer. So hopefully we can save that up pretty quickly. But we're going to have her... Actually, we'll go to the bathroom first. And then we'll have her sit here and work on that rest of her homework. Oh no, her homework is not in her inventory. Did she leave it somewhere? Oh, she did. It's right here on the floor. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. We would lose it constantly. Okay, and I was gonna have her do her homework, but she's far too tense to do any of that. So maybe we can have her... Oh, she's too tense to write as well. She doesn't like playing games. So maybe we'll just have her sleep it off and we'll see how she is in the morning, which tomorrow she does have her babysitting career. Okay, so she just woke up. It is the first day of winter and it is snowing outside, which is so exciting, um, but she's very stinky. So she needs to take a bath, a shower, 
and then um, she's also super hungry so we will make sure to get her some food which all of that is off right now I don't understand why we don't have like a proper kitchen in here um, that would be something that would be really helpful <laughs> um, maybe you could add in like some counters and a oven or something like that fridge back there but we don't have that so hopefully someone will bring food soon if not we do have a little bit of cash we can run grab something um, but she does start her babysitting job today um, Oh, she is actually late. She is late for her babysitting job. It started at 7. She has got to go. <laughs> She's hungry. Maybe she can eat there whenever she goes. I super love this outfit, though. I've never seen that. That is super cute. But um, she is off to her work, and we will see how she is when she gets back. Hopefully, she can eat something there. Oh, and we got a pop-up boss's birthday. Elise wants to get her boss a birthday present but can't leave work to buy it. How should she go about it? Uh, order online. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Does that take money out? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, performance gain small. Okay, well that's good. Uh, we didn't lose any money there. Okay, so she's still at work, but we got her royalty report. We got some more money. We got 58 simoleons now, and she did eat there, which is amazing. Okay, she is home from work, and she bought $312 today. We have got some cash. We have 370 simoleons, which is so exciting. She's really wanting to analyze a book, so let's have her work on that if she can. Uh, let's see. We'll open this up, uh, see what we got in here. Uh, I would just place, we'll do any of them. Just analyze something. This place is a hot mess. Look how dirty it is. That would drive me absolutely insane. I could not handle, that would give me anxiety in itself and I do not blame her for going into her room. <laughs> oh, it looks like she's gonna sit on somebody's bed. And this should be fun for her. Yeah, okay, so her fun is going up as well and she is hungry a little bit. Maybe we can get something for her room um, before the weekend is over, which she does have a class tomorrow. She has uh, the right expectations at 3 p.m. And then she also has telling tales at 8 a.m. So her homework is 75% done for that. She really needs to work on that. Let's see if there's any food available. Oh, that is normal. Let's grab a serving of that. And then after that, she can work on that homework and make sure we get that done. Okay, so she actually wanted to sit in here with these people and do her homework. So she's working on that. And she was pretty close. She was 75% done. She's just started it again. So hopefully she'll get that done soon. And then we will go to class. Oh, perfect. She got it complete. So the only homework we have to do is this one to thrill and talk absurd so we will work on that but she has until tuesday to get that done there is a celebration going on down here so why don't we have her come down here and see what's going on okay so she is down here at this book statue we have some vendors it looks like she can order food uh it looks like they're spray painting here we have the mascot and maybe we'll have them do a funny introduction. We'll have her do a funny introduction to the mascot. We gotta know the mascot of our school. <laughs> she is talking, but I think we're gonna have her come over here and work on this m mural. I think that'd be really fun to participate in. So she's working on that. Oh gosh, they're all kind of standing together there. <laughs> Okay, so she worked on that mural for a little bit, but I was looking around and I found this little kiosk over here where you can buy some items. So I think we're going to have her buy some items for her room and see what we can get. It looks like we can get some posters, uh, a course book, a bicycle. That would be really fun to have as well. I know your fun goes up super fast on one of those. It is 100 simoleons though, which we have enough for if we really wanted it. Um, we also have some rugs we could get, um, some more books, an easel, a stadium or a, a camping chair, a soccer ball. Oh, multiple soccer balls. Those are cool. I've never seen those colors before. That's, that's awesome. Oh, we also have a lamp. I think it'd be really nice to have a lamp in her room. 
Uh, we also have some guards we can put up, which she does have. Oh, a fridge would be amazing. It's 250 simoleons, which would be really good to have because food seems to be kind of bothersome. Uh, we have a chest we could keep stuff in, some school banners, a boom box, some more rugs, a lamp. Oh, and we have some laptops, which those are really expensive, so I'm not sure that we'll be able to do that. Um, her gu A guitar, which I wish we would have brought the one from home. Uh, we also have some mood lights. That's interesting. Uh, really cool. Uh, some more rugs. Oh, a nicer fridge for $4.75. A violin. We also have some kegs, a microwave, some mirrors, some plants. Oh, uh, there's her homework if we lose it because she leaves it everywhere. Um, so that's pretty good. We have quite a bit of stuff we can buy from here. I think a fridge would be great, a lamp we need. Um, and then we could get some plants once we make a little bit more money. We really need a laptop, we'll save up for that. Um, but we can always try to find a computer somewhere. Uh, let's see, what do we want to get for her? Okay, I think we want to get a bicycle and then maybe a lamp um, or we could do a really cheap fridge so that way we could get food uh, if we have enough m simoleons for it uh, which we're at 350 right now that'd basically be all of our money but I think it would come in so much handy it would be so handy for us to have so I think we're gonna go ahead and do that um, let's go home let's decorate our room and it looks like we also have some social bunny posts, which I don't think we're going to keep up with as much. We can just see what it is about right now. Um, Devin, Devin is her brother, which I hope we can maybe go back for Christmas break and we can meet, like, I can introduce you all to the family. Um, but let's do a happy post here and we'll just kind of keep up with it for now but I'm not going to do it as much as I did with high school um but she is back home let's go to her room and see what we can set up here oh she got a little sentiment here loyal employee everyone at Lisa's workplace has really made her feel at home she's better not disappoint them oh that's really sweet and she's really upset about her surroundings here so maybe we can stick this fridge in her little room. I wish it would fit there. Oh my. Why will it not fit anywhere? We could put it here. That's kind of weird. I'd like it to go over there, but it is what it is. At least we have a place where you grab food. Um, hopefully no one else will like grab from it, but they might. So, and we can order delivery from that. That's awesome. Super cool. And we have her bike here. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that's a cute bike. I absolutely love that. That fits her so well. And it'll make her fun go up and we'll get around campus a whole lot faster. Um, but why don't we have her go here? I don't even know where she's at right now. Oh, there she is. And we really need her to finish her homework. Even though our class is on Tuesday, I'm sure we'll get busy and we will forget about it. And she has class tomorrow, so she really needs to Get everything done hopefully we can work on her presentation and then we will attend class tomorrow okay so she has now completed all of her homework and she's got some low needs happening um but first i want to have her go take a shower so she is nice and clean for in the morning and then we also need to have some fun i really wish there was like i should have bought that radio so she could listen to some music maybe the computer is open yes the computer is open and i think writing for her is um fun so oh okay so she finished her shower that girl got off the computer she can now write her short story and maybe it can be about traveling to college or starting life on your own uh something like that and i think that would be good make some simoleons from that um why don't we call it let's see becoming an adult university edition becoming an adult university edition 
There we go. Little short stories about going to university. I think that is perfect. She's learned a lot in this this weekend before classes start. So we will have her do that. Um, and I don't know that her fun is going up with that. It is not. So we're actually going to have her stop that. But she started it so we can continue it later. Let's whip out her bike and have her bike around a little bit and get that fun up. <laughs> Okay, so we went outside to ride on her bike, and she is terrified of the dark, so she is scared, which is not good, so hopefully her fun will go up fast enough, we can get her back inside, I'll have her go to the bathroom, and then we will go to sleep so she can start classes in the morning. Okay, so we have made it back home. It literally took no time at all, but I realized that it's 2 a.m., which is not good. She does have class in the morning, so let's have her use the bathroom, and then we are going to have her go to sleep. Okay, so she is running to her bed. She's absolutely terrified, but she is laying down to go to sleep, and I think that I am going to leave this part here, and we'll start the next part when she attends class for the first time, but I think this is a really fun episode to introduce you to Elise and her personality and everything we plan to do with this university let's play, um, so hopefully we can get everything off of her aspiration checked which we need to work on that research and debate skill and get her homework and start on her presentation so we've got a lot to do um we also need to have fun make sure we're meeting people and taking care of our social needs as well not sure what's going to happen with her boyfriend orange but we will see which i'm pretty sure i just realized i missed her graduation so that's really sad i didn't even get like a notification about it i really wish she would have graduated um i hope we get her diploma mm. i was hoping we would get that and we could put it up in her room but i missed that so that's really sad but hopefully we will get to class today and we will see how it goes from there but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions please be sure to leave those down in the comments i can't wait to see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye